Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. I'm Bryce Castillo, your great room free show navigator here. Uh, we got a great show for you coming up. The guys have a fun story from Sunday. They're going to create a new Christmas legend. And uh, we got a round of new six, the news at six. But in the meantime, we're going to jump right into the great room. Great room, can you hear me? You, uh, can be great. My you are heard. I am an active, sir. Yeah. We are fully about to uh, cut each it. other. We're oh. about to, yeah, we're about to do it. Fantastic. We're about I'll to see you do it for real. All right. Yep. Bye. Uh, so, before guys, we get started, I want to just do one thing. Uh, Jason, if you're on there, hello. I just said I'd do that. So go ahead. Jason's watching. This Jason. one goes out my to Mark. Where's my boy John? <laughs> yeah. My girl Sally. All who's, Jason. Who's Jason? Uh, he is my buddy who writes a lot of great music and uh, is hilarious and lives up in Not Portland. Not comfortable with sharing the, the title the, "Great." I feel like that's kind of ours at this that's point. That's our shit, man. Yeah. I thought you were on the team. I, I didn't, didn't say that he's a look. <laughs> Don't the say time it. zone Don't you say brings it. the night. It's us who brings the great. Now all of a sudden you're saying other things are great. I don't know. Bryce is here. Oh, hey, that's yeah. great. That's hey. so great that he's here. Yes, wow. because he I'm... is uh, here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, so so uh, let me just get this out of my system before you guys uh, uh, cut my belly open. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was unprepared for how emotionally affected I was by the fact that the neon light was mm -hmm. set up. Yeah. Um, it, it just sort of struck me really, really powerfully, and and it made all of this feel very real. Oh, and good. I, I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm feeling feeling. And then we instantly like started making fun of him. Yes. Then, then yeah. they're like, because oh, it's sorry. a comedy show. A yes. Guy? Yeah. Because we, it's a comedy show knives. and jokes are the lifeblood. <laughs> like he looked at me jokes, for yeah. We're he, all unemployed. He looked at me Fuck for off, a second. Yeah. He Fuck looked off. at me like, ah, how yeah. dare you? I'm so, like. Yeah, so if, if people are only listening, the night attack on the air sign that had been in Justin's uh, studio mm -hmm. is now kind of perched here in the That's great room. So dope, dude. Um, yep. But yeah, so I, I think it's, it's a great addition to the background there. And you can see it all, and it's not too it, bright. It fits, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. 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 Uh, unlike when I put it two feet from the camera <laughs> that would wash out any and all lighting that I was trying to do. Uh, this is a better idea. Yeah. Green <laughs> and room actually is makes really it... coming together. And, and I mm. love the fact that there's so many uh, accents that, that speak to our past. Uh, you know, that we got a possum posse album. Mm -hmm. We got, we got art. Uh, 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 this is, uh, you guys can't camera, see it, but, yeah. uh, but uh, there's a, it's a vibe. It's a, there's a photograph from South Congress, nice. uh, which is one of the spots that I used to do intros for Scam School on, and you could tell the exact. Uh, you can see home date slice right in the background. That that what well, you could tell the date that it was taken because there is a Coney 2012 poster on there. Awesome. And mm. also a appearing now at South by Southwest 314 poster. Oh, so oh, it's yeah. like like that is definitely a moment come to life in there. It's yeah. so good. Um, robotic uh, Libations ask, what's the story about the art behind you? These are actually, Corey found these, these are actually uh, sound dampeners that just have a nice design. They're little, they're little bafflers. They, Very they, nice. Yeah, they're they baffling. They, 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 they happen to be attractive and they <laughs> uh, definitely baffle the echo. Yeah. Um, so that uh, uh, Merrill Barr points out, yes, there's a certain article. A very large sure. out of a Bloomberg and that's article. That's other things that not only can people not see because they're listening, but they but also can't see show. because it's not, it's on, the not camera. And that, on the camera that's shot. That's right. And yeah. the unicorn yeah. that's just right over there, mm -hmm. an yeah. actual unicorn. We try not to talk about the unicorn okay. so much. Though. Oh, sorry. Question. Oh, you know what? I actually have a question for you guys. <laughs> okay. So, sure. Uh, before we started recording, huh. Brett, uh, yeah, this is the moment that everybody – or I – assume everybody is thinking of like last minute gift ideas or whatever and uh, uh brett comes in and i'm like hey i want to you know i spent four hours repositioning ah. the speakers and i want to share some stuff and brett's like well before you do that here's a comic i like and he showed me the comic and i'm like this shit's hilarious hmm. and he's like yeah it's pretty much like calvin and Hobbes." and i was like hold on a moment and i bought a box set and now my daughters will have a gift of 
Calvin and Hobbes like uh, it's yeah. called Phoebe and her unicorn. Uh, Phoebe and her unicorn right. is I, I think is what it's called. So uh, uh, it was one of those things where I only needed to see one piece of it, hmm. and I suddenly knew solution for gifts. What uh, what are your go tos? Because like back in the day, oh. one of my go to gifts was uh, the pop up book of phobias. Uh, have you ever seen it? I, I, oh no, I was thinking the big book of phobias. Oh, what what what? Not the, the pop up. The pop up book of phobias, page one. You open it, and it's like, hey, this is a pop-up book. It's about phobias. And you open it. <laughs> and, a and sign. A wooden sign comes out and says, hello, you're yeah. reading a book. Uh, you open the next page, and it's dentist with a moving drill. <laughs> I've definitely <laughs> seen that. that. Oh, yeah. wow. It's Fantastic. awesome. That's you open cool. another page, huh. and it unfolds a skyscraper and you're at the top of it looking down oh it's wow. nice so so that was my go-to gift until uh the entire publishing run ran out yeah you but, bought uh, all of them turns out uh, I, think so, actually. <laughs> I mean if you have enough christmases yeah <laughs> but, but, but that's one of those things where you know for, for 40 bucks you have a, a something that people are going to hold on to forever mm. uh, I, uh, as a starting point do, do you have something like I, a go-to like that i was given a gift a few years ago um, that I think probably could fit in this space. So uh, years ago, uh, my aunt and uncle, I think they, for one year, I don't even think it was Christmas. Oh, no, it must have been because it was Santa. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so It was they, Hanukkah. <laughs> they, gifted, they gifted me uh, a bottle of wine, some bottle of wine, but they had this little Santa koozie that sat over it and a little hat that sat on the head. And yeah. the idea was, okay, the next time you give someone a gift, a, box, a bottle of wine, you give them with get this. A, get a little a festive you, you, thing. You pass it on. You just oh, pass the, the Santa same on. one. Yeah. That um, seems like a, like a like a like a like a spec script. It's like a whole thing. That's, that's like a, that's a, that's, a, that's like that's like, like 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 sisterhood Tales of the traveling of the pants wild. for alcoholics. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> for wine moms. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's that. I think something like that. You know, it was nice. It's kind of knit. Um, it, you probably can find a bunch of stuff like that easy and also make a little bit of a tradition. You kind of take a, a lottery card of like, am I giving you a new tradition also? Maybe. Or maybe you'll just like this little thing. Right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's all what great. about you guys? Uh, I don't buy a lot of Christmas gifts. Go I, on. I will say. But uh, for my nieces... Because I'm Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for my nieces and nephews, especially at the when they were the ages of one or two, I would find the noisiest, most ridiculous gift that I could and give that to them. So, so you're that you're that the guy. screaming fire truck, the uh, Fisher Price chainsaw, the uh, it was <laughs> yes. All right, there was I'm a not, Fisher Price chainsaw. You, what's funny is I wanted to think that was a bit, and I was like, that sounds like the kind of thing that you had actually seen. <laughs> yes, I, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna say what member of either my family or extended family this is, but there are. Children now in the family, young kids that I'm like, all right, look, this is why I exist in life, like as a dual income, no kid. Sure. Mm -hmm. Is to buy dink. as I'm dinking through life. Cool like, uncle, man. Uh, I'm just buying shit for, for, for young kids, mm -hmm. right? So I hit up one of the parents and I was like, uh, hey, what are they into? And like, really, all I'm, all I'm looking is like, Ball gags. Paw Patrol, yeah. like uh, Frozen, whatever. Disney like, just give me, give me shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I get back from the mom a, if you give us $150, uh. then we will get them an experience and a toy and we will film them opening the what? toy. It's not a fucking Fiverr. It's Christmas. I was about to say, is this fucking Kickstarter or whatever? So I'm like, uh, like, look. It's a stressful time. I don't want to add another log to the fire, right? Mm -hmm. But You'll I'm like, you motherfuckers, you are this close to making me just get Disney annual passes. So now you guys have to buy Disney, Disney annual passes and just oh take these kids God. to the fucking mm -hmm. theme park all the time. Oh, like, like wow. you have no Ooh, idea. That's like, nuclear. my God. <laughs> I never thought about that as a curse. <laughs> Give them one and <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! I'll give it one for each no, kid. No, no, one for each kid. Oh. Oh, one okay. for no each parents. Kid. None for parents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just one for each kid, and then just be like, "Hey, you get to go to Disney as many times as you want." Hooray! Did, 
I mean, to be honest, um, as many as you want or just one, it's the same animal. Whereas right. like, sure. the kid opens it. Oh my God, it's a ticket to Disney World. Oh Second my God, kid it's opens unlimited. Up. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah. it's a ticket to a different Disney park. <laughs> 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 what did you get, Mom and Dad? What I got was a, a, a note from the Joker. And a bottle yeah, of basically. Advil. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so see, I, was, I was not a fan of that. I'm uh, like, just tell me, uh, is he still in the chase? Just fucking tell right. me if he's still in the chase so I can get him a chase thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the evil uncle yet for that. <laughs> because so my brother's got two kids, and one of them is still too young to like really appreciate gifts. And so I got the other one, uh, some um, microscope kit. It's a little microscope cool. and some yeah. samples yeah. and things of this you can look at. Um, but I, at some point, at some point the leaf's going to turn. I'm going to need to get them annoying shit. Especially because yeah. I'm not in Virginia. Yeah. I'm not in the state. Yeah. Oh, that makes it even better. Right. Uh, okay. For reals, just send them a Ziploc baggie filled with oregano. <laughs> just see what happens. <laughs> from your cool <laughs> uncle. Yeah. 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 But we're like, from yeah. your coolest uncle. <laughs> never no, never just, too uh, early. Yeah. And it's just a bag of weed <laughs> and a donation to their college fund. <laughs> It'd be so much better. So much better. To, to, it's oregano. It's in a, not even weed. It's oregano in a Ziploc, but it says it's written in like Sharpie weed on yeah. the side, big and ugly. That would be. <laughs> I think I think I think that's very that's, funny. But that, there, I think there that are would very splash few moments, there are very few moments yeah. that Bryce sacrifices the good of the show to have a moment to think. Go. And we just saw one. <laughs> I feel okay. like that would sacrifice. So like I don't know. I went to my family earlier this year and it was in a state that has legal weed. And it was a very weird transaction of like, hey, you have a car and I would like to go buy weed <laughs> and nobody yeah. else wanted to. And so I feel like that prank would probably I, splash back on me more than annoy I, me. I heard a story. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when it starts like this. I heard the story. It was a story I heard with ears. You heard. Uh -huh. I did not see this story. No, sure. you heard, heard this it. story. Sure. Sure. Where there's a big family gathering, and uh, you know all the adults are enjoying stuff, and there's a few people that uh, uh, you know are from these weed legal states. Mm -hmm. Sure. And uh, they've got these little we call them weedlings. These little uh, uh, 2.5 milligram edibles. Mints. Sure. Little buddies. List little, little mints. Right? Is that a lot or a little? That's a little. I don't speak weed. I don't know about it's a small, weed. Small, small. It's amount. a little, it's just small a little amount. weed. Doing. So small tiny. little tiny weed. Uh, and uh, they're being kind of like liberally sort of passed out amongst the adults, especially mm. coming up for a big holiday meal. And uh, then the kids show up. And all of a sudden, this person for whom I heard this story from uh, <laughs> sees uh, none of the kids were pawing at anything, but just sees on the ground <gasps> one of the mints oh, no. uh, oh, that had fallen out of a dress pocket because the dress pockets are very small. Sure. 2.5 yeah. is small for an adult, but for a child. It right. could but be. But also, story. this is the moment that we point out that this is a cautionary tale because, as we know, weed is deadly. That's right. Yeah, if that's you right. overdose well, on weed, you uh, will here, die. Here, that's, right. that's what Dare told me. We, we were going to get to the deadly element of this, which oh, was the shit. stare. God damn it. Which was, which was the stare that the mother gave uh the person whose uh uh, uh pocket Story was too small is. yeah uh when they were handed the the mint back and the mom was like what the fuck is going on was oh, just no. staring daggers it was it was a bad scene it was, i blame the patriarchy it, that's that what heard, it is that i heard it's, it's that you heard it, that it, i heard it's, it's the patriarchy it's awkward when not everyone's on the same page there were there were there were conversations on. I think your family's too weed friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I I well not for nothing, but like I'm legitimately uncomfortable with how indistinguishable certain gummies are from other gummies. I don't like that shit. I don't I don't I don't like that shit at all. Yeah. I, I I think that that's in general just bad practice. Right. Uh, uh, and for taste, any edibles, the tastes have gotten better. So you in a lot of them you don't even taste no. it the way you used to. This and is that gets some you read in an. Article. I've I've simply heard that it doesn't taste as bad as it used to. Okay. Um, I mean, not in California or Nevada. <laughs> uh, 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 some of the other states they're still figuring it out because you yeah. don't have national brands yet. But okay. like. 
uh, but no, yeah. I some got of my those... Coke weed. I got my Coca-Cola weed. <laughs> Time out. Uh, chat room. Every so often, <laughs> the chat room steals <laughs> the thunder. And Weird Emmy says, getting fancy in there with that plate of free waters. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a plate of waters. <laughs> Hey, it's Hill Country <laughs> brand, all right? That's right. Uh, wh- wh- which actually brings up a question that uh, I, 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 I don't know. I've been sitting on because I, I think we've done Nesting? What's that? Nesting, Nesting on it. N- You're sitting on it like, 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 like a, a bird with like a nest. Like yeah, like, I mean, yeah. 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 Cool. Just little bottoms. Yeah. Like, incubating uh, it. Cool. Incubating it. Keeping it Ready warm. Ready to hatch. What, what does a cool bird look like nesting? Mm, probably floofing. <laughs> little floof. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> little floof. Yeah, just sitting there, floof. Yeah, just but with floof. sunglasses. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, look, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that cool needs to happen. Bird. Floof it. Okay, hit it. Oh my god, that's, oh, that's so cool. That's, uh, cool. Right, that's so cool. That's, that's so pretty cool. fucking cool. Nesting makes me feel good. <laughs> so, so, so here's my question. Uh, uh, we had a transition period. Uh, 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 you know, first BB Live show to NSFW, and then NSFW to Independent Night Attack or whatever. Um, and then at some point, once we seemed to get our shit figured out, uh, there became this like expansionist evangelical, like, okay, we're ready to yeah. tell, your, tell your friends about the show. I, I intuitively feel like we're kind of there, but, but I don't know. And I wanted to take the pulse of like the, is it time to say, bring it, can we do Brent, bring a friend, friend night? Like, 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 like the Methodist church would do. I feel like you might be the only person who feels like there needed to be a threshold. Mm. Right. Uh, uh, but yes, is my answer to, to your question. Okay. Yeah. I also, I feel like if there was a moment to feel like, Oh, I feel good enough about this to have other people tell oh, no, other no, no, people no, no, about no. it. It's it's not a matter of feeling good about. It. It's a matter of um, working uh, out the kinks. Uh, well, well, it's a matter of like uh, being comfortable enough with the katas that you're able to take your wide stance. And it's like, no, seriously, give me something. You know, bring bring in some normies. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I've we're done gonna, that already. We're gonna win them. I know, which I'm really glad I didn't know about. Because it would have freaked me out, uh, or, or I didn't think about, or whatever. But okay. uh, but 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 like, mm. is it, I love the idea of like bring a friend to great night night. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. What? Sure. Nothing, I like to call that. I like to call that Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> should always. We should promote the show. Please tell your friends about this podcast. Yeah. But, but okay, okay. But that's what everybody says. My point is like like there's one. No 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 no. I'm with Brian. I'm with Brian. It matters to make it an event. It matters. I say exactly. Everybody meets each other. Yeah. Like like for example, when we did our first live event, the very first question I asked was, "How many of you know why you're here?" And it was awesome to see exactly. 40% of the hands go. go. I don't and then know. I said, how many of you guys are here? Because somebody said, there's a thing. I can't explain it. It'll Just be a come good out. time. Yeah. And, then, and then the rest of the hands went up. Sure. That was fucking great. And, and it was. it's like, I'm wondering if we could do that in a virtual sense. I fucked my future wife that night. <laughs> Her first live event. Oh, no, sorry. So I, he I was, was talking about a couple of months ago. I was talking about ago. our live <laughs> event on campus. Oh, I was like, I was about to be very confused. Like, are you getting a What's divorce anytime soon? Someone's updating the I'm Wikipedia. trying to think if I fucked my past wife that night. <laughs> past wife? In, it sounds Why like she's... present? Present wife. Oh, Current sure. wife, yeah. Current wife. <laughs> oh, by the way, we have an announcement for next week's show. <laughs> I guess we can. We, we, we've oh. gotten the sign off through uh, a little trick that Justin likes to call lying to his <laughs> wife. I'm not going to say whether it was the past, future, or present <laughs> wife, okay. but one of them got lied he to. He will be visited much, by three wives. I mean, like, like, much, much I'm like the wife of the past. Much, much like God, she's all three. <laughs> like, she is the Trinity. Uh, she's Trinity wife. <laughs> the Trinity wife. No, uh, uh, so Ashley came to me yesterday, or today and was like, uh, oh, by the way, <laughs> I don't have work from like Friday until the new year. So oh, wow. like, get ready to see a lot more of me. And I'm like, oh, so you're doing a great night with us. Mm. And she's like, oh, am I? I'm like, yeah, no, it's the great wife episode where you and Bonnie 
are basically going to have the run of the show and oh. uh, and, and me and Brian uh, a uh, long requested pairing a right. long requested pairing also a thing that definitely nobody talked to him about except for him in his mind yeah. to his wife and so uh then I uh, when I was going to get beer with Brian, and I'm like, uh, I'm just gonna lie to my wife real quick, and I texted her and said, uh, uh, "Hey, Bonnie's pretty hot on this great wife idea. Are you in?" <laughs> and then she's like, "Okay, yeah, I guess I'm in." And then we're like, "All right, call Bonnie <laughs> and see if she's in any way interested in this." And she's been on Bonnie's been on the show before. Bonnie's been on the show a lot. Sure. She was the sure. easier sell. That's why yeah. I lied. But it, uh, uh, it was a safe lie. It was certainly a lie, absolutely and technically. Yeah, but a safe lie in every interpretation Absol- of the oh, word lie. Yeah. So it then, was a lie. Cover cover very much it's a lie. lie. It yeah, a, very much a lie. But it's, an, it's a safe lie. It's a safe lie. <laughs> and uh, uh, so Bonnie's into it. So great wife. Uh, uh, next week for a Christmas episode, EK, more than welcome. Oh, this next (gasps) week? Next week. No, we're going to, I'm going to uh, Huntsville. Well, then that's why we're overbooking the show with our wives. But I will tell you that it was, it was a hilarious thought thinking, oh, my wife on TV, she would just implode. She's like, I don't do that I mean, she, <laughs> but she, it's she, funny anyway I mean, luckily she wouldn't have to be on camera she could just introduce. she could be next to you she could yeah, yeah. <laughs> no yeah. oh wow yeah. um, she'd draw some things and and put them up that'd so. be good mm. nfts nfts <laughs> you could do <laughs> some nfts for christmas <laughs> she she has some thoughts on that okay all right hey. <laughs> uh i i need a ruling here guys okay. yeah that's the gavel yes sure. We both have. I need to know if I'm going to a girl gym. You need to know. Okay, is it called? Is it curves? Are you going to curves? It's not curves. (laughs) Okay, that is a girl. But I feel like I'm. I'm like curves adjacent. Is it first lady? Is it called first lady? Not called first lady. Okay. Okay. I feel like with either of those, I would have known walking in the door. Just make it. Sometimes you got to turn the computer off and then turn it back on. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So, are there any other (laughs) female centric gyms that you guys can name? Dat booty clap. Are you going to that booty clap? I mean, yeah. I think this Are is you? a very... It's an obvious question. <laughs> is but one of the to... exercises twerking? <laughs> what are the the packages they offer at that booty clap? <laughs> uh, number one, uh-huh. most important... Which is like, no. hey, look, if, if you just want a, a, a three-pack of classes, it's the flute out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to really get an annual membership, it's the hoe for show. Yeah, hoe for show. <laughs> right. uh, the products they offer is number one, no judgment. <laughs> number two, <laughs> an all you can eat buffet. Oh. <laughs> number three, so many poles. That's it. <laughs> yeah, are there poles actually? There's no poles. Okay. Uh, what what gives you the impression that you are going to a girl? Every life? time I go there, there's way more women than men. I mean, first of way all, more women than men. It, it could be is, based on the time of day that you go. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Be- Possibly. Because, because you do not work a traditional nine to five or whatever. Yep. But also, like, uh, as I understand it, uh, gyms equal uh, either divorcee or soon to be divorcee hunting grounds. Ooh, you're in the Savannah. So now we're back. <laughs> you're in the Savannah. The Savannah. Have you met S- Savannah? Yeah, Savannah. <laughs> Savannah got through. I feel like She's Savannah. Savannah, right Savannah, right Savannah is at that booty clap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you go and there are a lot of a lot of ladies. Somebody says, "Are you just going to a yoga?" I was studio? gonna say <laughs> that. I was studio. totally gonna say that. <laughs> it's not a yoga studio, and really, what put me in in a situation where I need to ask people about it is because. Uh, our friend Rachel, who will be <laughs> referred to later in the episode, mm. uh, I told her, like, oh, I'm going to this place. And she's like, I don't know a single guy that goes to this. Just follow up oh. question Is there a men's changing room there? I don't know if there is a changing room. <laughs> There's, there are bathrooms, but people don't normally go in. It's oh, okay. classes kind of thing. For people who want to change, they think you're great just the way you are. Oh. Yes. <sighs> Then no. that would be a real <laughs> yeah right then yeah that's a girl yeah thing. usually you show up in your clothes you work out then you get the fuck out okay so okay. it's not like an open it's all it's classes not, no no it's class it's all I want to see you, I yeah, want to see I you see. show up in a full Andrew Heaton suit 
and tie and be like, okay, well, I'm ready to work out and <laughs> sit and squat. And I don't know if I would do the suit and, and... Uh, the, the suit and tie, but I do at some point <laughs> in my life want to see Heaton in one of those men's like Atlantic City Steel Pier full bathing suits like that Goofy yes. used to wear. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. sucker. Like, 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 uh, walk in with his own, like, uh, uh, it's like a, a PVC pipe painted, spray painted black with a couple of balloons on the side. You're yes. Like, well, Exactly. Just yeah. Ready to pump some iron like you know, like and he's ladies. got like like the big accordion, like uh, yeah. yeah. Part, big part, part of the costume, part of the whole outfit is he puts on the mustache. Yeah. Okay. Now that would be a guy gym. Yeah. Oh, that that's dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of dudes with flying mustaches and lifting fake uh, dumbbells. Press, 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 <laughs> like that would be a guy gym. Also, what's the address? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that fucking quote in, in community. It's like, I hope this doesn't awaken something in me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, uh, what's the verdict? I, Is it a girl, Jim? I'm asking. I mean, so, so, all right. I, here, I, I, here's, we've given our answer. <laughs> I feel like you're, if, it, if it's all like class based, I don't know if it's a gym as much as like an exercise studio mm-hmm. if it it's orange a difference theory, for the record it's uh, orange theory oh okay uh so is I, orange I theory have, a girl gym i have male is my question who go to orange theory who okay. go to orange theory uh how many of each i i i, I, I <laughs> like want to two. ask but i feel like i know the answer uh, uh they do offer crossfit right uh, no, no. This orange is, this is, this is very well. This is it, it becomes like uh, I don't know, like like are you Christian or Catholic or Lutheran? Like right, they are right. all they are all timed once a day workouts, high intensity that workouts. are high intensity yeah. that involve multiple different things. But they will but be they very offended if you call them the other one. Uh, okay, so no. Is right. the answer to your yeah. question? Cross- Effectively, cross- from what from what I've kn- from what I know of CrossFit, which I've I've never done myself, hmm. but it is similar in uh, uh, the idea of the workouts. But there are less like Olympic like Olympic deadlifts and shit like that is like a big CrossFit thing. And yeah. and Orange Theory is basically on a treadmill, on a rower, or lifting Machine free weights. Pumps. You're less likely yeah. to really pull something at Orange Theory, even though it's. It- High intensity. It's not like CrossFit where you can get fucking wrecked, right? If you're not careful. I mean, so, also you don't find yourself at operating Thetan level three. Exactly. In, in, in exactly. Orange Theory. Yeah. Supernova girl OT, says OT. Orange no, Theory. No, Supernova girl says Orange Theory is eighty twenty female. And I would say, in okay. my experience, it is that. That way. is that is what what the the thing is. And so like, yeah. I didn't realize. All I did was I was just like googling stuff of like like oh okay well this seems like a, like a good thing. I went I tried it. I liked it. Uh, and then I've noticed not only here when I go, but also the one thing I really like about it is that they have these fucking gyms everywhere and you can just book classes yeah. all over the country yeah. right? and you can just do it through the app and you don't have to like argue with the person at the front. Uh, and everywhere there in Virginia, in Orlando, it's still 80, 20 women. And uh, uh, so now I'm like, uh, you know, as soon as Rachel was like, so, like that's a girl gym. I'm like, yeah. am I going to a girl gym? Yeah, All right, so yeah, qu- question of etiquette. <laughs> once you recognize. I guess I didn't mean that tone. But. No, it's no, fine. No, no, no. Question of etiquette. Once you recognize. I like it for the record. Like, I, 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 this is not going to, to stop me from going, but, but I, I'm, I'm curious. I feel like it would be good content. So, like, I have attended a number of parties in which I was employed to be a magician. And when I walked in, the ratio was 99 to 1. Of magicians to normies, and so my magicianness got ramped right up because yeah. I understood I'm here to be a the magician for magicians. Exactly. So in an eighty twenty, does like <laughs> do you butch up, <laughs> brother? That, brother, how butch do you? Get? <laughs> Can I tell you that I have very rarely in my life been able to tell you immediately that I am the recipient of the female gaze. <laughs> wow. Like, that is a thing that happens at Orange Theory classes. Oh, oh, uh, people, uh, oh, sorry, th- this one, the, the, 
uh, check it out the top of your head. But down, I mean, yeah, I mean, up, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, 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 I they don't encourage know. him to go to the front of the class. Yeah. I, 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 I don't, I don't know if it's a diet the Coke commercial that where they're like, like, yeah. like, oh. like, like, <laughs> like looking at me as if I'm like a fucking oh. studly construction it, worker. Or yeah. Something. Get, uh, uh, give me that again, but this time down risky business. Oh yeah. yeah. Just like, like, dun, 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 dun. Wow. Ooh, a deep. Uh, I Just don't know. Take if it, your old husband's off the shelf. <laughs> I don't know like, if it's that. Recognize we kind of walked by it, but he really humble bragged that he was a hot item. At <laughs> yes, all yes. I'm yes. not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bullshit. Like that's that's like again. Uh, and and I only know it because it's rare. Uh, it, it never, that, never in others in any other situation in my life have I like noticed people looking at me. There, there's a story that I don't think I'm pinching from the first act of the Big Show. Yeah. Uh, uh, where, <laughs> That's got a great where, track record. Where, <laughs> yeah. where, 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 here we go. Uh, uh, just your, your here we go. friend. I, yes. How much of this can I tell? I don't know what you're going to say, but I know for it's sure it's certain, going to evaporate. It's about a certain aunt and how distracted she was. An aunt. Distracted yes. Aunt. About the sexy, sexy man. Are you talking about a? Oh, sex? sure. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. You can tell that one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, wait, I, I don't know how many. Uh, can you set the scene? Oh yeah, it's a weird. You scene start the set. story. Yeah. So you want me to set the scene? So my friend's husband died. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I needed you to. I didn't feel comfortable and at, saying it. And I'm at it. her memorial. And yes. Uh, 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 grief does weird things to people. Sure. It's a long day. It begins at about noon. This is stretched into about the seven o'clock hour. And for whatever reason, my friend Rachel's aunt, uh, uh, apparently I did not know this. Oh, no, okay. This is the part I could take over because I yeah. heard, I heard direct from Rachel. The version of her story is like, so we're at my husband's funeral <laughs> and, uh, my aunt who's a bit older, she was just like, <laughs> She was so distracted during the funeral. She was like, when she saw Justin, she said, that is the sexiest man I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, okay. and then she kept on saying throughout things like, he is so sexy. There's never been somebody sexier. <laughs> and then finally, Justin leaves and she says, oh, thank goodness that sexy man left. I was so distracted. <laughs> For the record, though, for anybody who thinks this is a fucking brag for me, she then immediately moved on to the dog. That's that the is, sexiest dog the I've sexiest ever seen dog. in my entire sexiest life. And th this is Rachel's wow. lie because Rachel is amazing. She said, uh, 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 That's your nephew. My aunt, um, uh, maybe you need to learn more adjectives. <laughs> <laughs> You really check some boxes for like, <laughs> like it I takes mean, it takes a certain amount of like past red line to be like constantly like. Can you fucking believe how sexy? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking sexy. And by the way, I will sexy. I, I, I will say this: there are plenty of young women that are at Orange Theory. The demo of Rachel's aunt are the ones I'm getting the female gaze from. Like it is not, it is not the the the, 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 the twenty to twenty five year olds that are looking me up and down. Do you think it? Do you think it's the hair color? Do you think it's because you've got the oh without a doubt, yeah, without yeah. a doubt. No, no. I think I think that there is a a, a, a something's going on. I feel like I've I've I heard once that the secret to aging is looking the way you'll look at fifty for fifty years. <laughs> And I feel like <laughs> I've kind of got that going on. Sure. There, there was, there was like, there was this. Mm. Uh, what? I, I was thinking of last week when Patrick was like, uh, was like, yeah, it's really weird. Justin looks so different. <laughs> I look so different. Brian looks exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, 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 <laughs> Flavor toothpaste. God, what a pickup line. You're sexier than a dog at a funeral. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, let me tell you about this dog. <laughs> because the it's dog, a good-looking dog. The dog was the, the there dog was and, here yeah, uh, for, on Sunday. Or, on Sunday, uh, it, uh, but the dog like uh, is very friendly. Gets up and uh, <laughs> it gets up. On, uh, uh, if you it know Rex you and Daniel, uh, <laughs> Rex Williams was there with his lovely wife Brandy, and uh, 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 the dog jumps up and uh, it's a little Chihuahua thing. Zero percent body fat, right? 
and the dog sexy fucking it's a, jack, it's it's fucking a jack chihuahua is what you're saying like and the dog solid the dog chihuahua like does the thing where it's standing on the lap but but has the paws up mm -hmm. and and i'm not gonna lie uh with Little the job. sunset and like <laughs> the <sunset>. fucking carved <laughs> like just these glutes sure and and, and i and, and i see brandy kind of patting patting and then she lands on the dog's butt cheeks and, and just goes, sort of pats mm, and just, just does mm, this rub. Little. And she's like, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog just sits there fucking It was a, like, if that dog was second place, then Justin, you are the sexiest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> because that dog was, was a amazing. sexy fucking yeah. dog. Justin, you beat out a dog. Yeah. Sexiness. I mean, a dog with cake, for the record. <laughs> with cake. It's truly, with cake. it's truly you the man now, dog. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, I, I got to get ready. You, you guys the, got five minutes. Yeah, right. Okay. The dog the was dog definitely now, uh, a, a, a <laughs> member at Clapping Dem Cheeks. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Uh, that dog is sexy, though. He's still tired of the dog. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I didn't know you had so much in common with Rachel Zan. <laughs> <laughs> he I gets mean, horny when he gets sad. So, uh, uh, yeah. okay. So, who is? Mm, uh, I don't know where to go from here. Like, uh, all I want to do is, is ask: is Who is the president of the United do States? Why think? do I smell toast? How? Oh. Biden. Uh, that, was, that was my favorite moment from weird things yesterday. Was when we were talking about the man of the earth stuff, and then the weird jab of, of just like, huh, Joe Biden. He uh, had the cover all to himself. No, <laughs> like, no, man, no, shared he it. Didn't. He shared it. Yeah, no. unlike George W. Bush and Barack. Got Obama. twice. Yeah, twice. George W. Bush twice. Twice, twice on that yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, hey, firm, proud buttocks. Firm. You think Joe Biden's got a nice ass? No. No, I don't. No. I but, but back in the day. Maybe, back in the day. Well, I mean, he was riding that train a lot, so. He was. He was. He seemed and like he likes guy. the bike. He, he yeah, likes he's the a bike. biker, yeah. Yeah, yeah he likes the I bike. I think he'd have a firm keister. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he's got a junk in the trunk, but he probably. No, I, firm, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if Joe Biden's doing squats. Booty. Yeah, no, no, he's not clapping that he's booty. He's not clapping that booty. I mean, Although, okay. Can I, Joe I, Biden make it clap? Only, no. Only his hold wife. Wait, 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 hold, wait, on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can Trump make it clap? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. No, he can't even, he can't move fast enough. He's got the he's got the material though. He could he could tweet and say I need two people to grab a butt cheek and slap them if together. If he if he worked on it for six months, who would okay, be able to make all, it clap better? First Trump. of all, he wouldn't. Can we please like, entertain a serious <laughs> political discourse? Yeah, right? For one all right? time. Wow. All right. Okay. So if given six months, you. I was joking. Who would be able no. to make it clap harder? What? What? <laughs> Obama, Trump, or Biden? Because I don't think. That it is anything but Donald Trump. He's got a fat ass on that. That man has a caboose. Yeah. Donk. Trailer. I would say McKinley. That's who I think. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go with uh, McKinley. Be living. <laughs> yep. Is this how far we've come as a country? <laughs> yes. That our political divide will not even allow you to say that Trump could twerk better I, than, Trump, uh, than Biden? Mm -mm. <laughs> Twerking is too sacred. <laughs> it's too much. By the way, the chat room is exploding with like Taft. Taft, yeah, Taft. Oh. There we go. He liked to get in that tub. If you Taft, know what I mean. get in that tub. Taft, Taft, Taft busting it wide open would be like one of those videos you'd see at one o'clock in the morning on BET. That's exactly like, that right. Would, I mean, that would that would be what would happen. I mean, there. that's why he got his hip hop hit uh, in the tub. <laughs> You can find me in the tub. I'm stuck. Please get me yeah. out because I'm stuck in the tub. <laughs> Do you have any grease? Because that's how I'm going to get released. Yeah. When I wake tub. up in the morning, I think I got to get clean. Walk into the tub, then I get stuck. I call <laughs> someone, hey, I got <laughs> stuck <laughs> in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I got dunk, dunk, dunk <laughs> in the tub. <laughs> dunk, dunk, dunk <laughs> in the tub. <laughs> and it's just him talking. Can somebody please get me? <laughs> yeah. I really <laughs> need <laughs> Could somebody <laughs> to get me. <laughs> 
Gertrude. I know you think I'm joking, yeah. but I'm not. <laughs> I just got stuck. <laughs> Adam is a joke. Adam never going to get it out. out. I, I got, got stuck, stuck in the tub. tub. <laughs> Adam never going to get get out. <laughs> President's in the tub. <laughs> President's in. I just got stuck. <laughs> I was stuck in a tub. Uh. Tough didn't do You get shit. the little butter, you get a little grease. Yeah. You get a little <laughs> anybody anybody under the 35, just Google tub thumping. Yeah. God damn it. And taft thumping. And taft. Uh, oh yeah, I guess tub thumping's not the oldest <laughs> reference there. <laughs> They're like, tub thumping, I get. I don't know who this taft know. is. Yeah. So he uh, got stuck in a tub. There's a how fucking embarrassing is that that we're still joking about it? <laughs> Also, like how also, much do you have to fuck did up? Not happen. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's one of those classic like stories. Like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody could look it up and verify. But I, am, I, I, I am now. I, I now read. I feel bad. Yeah, that I've been making that we fat man got stuck in the tub jokes no. for these years. I should. How dare you? Uh, uh, fuck. So, Somebody uh, look that up. Is that apocryphal? There, there is a unrelated project to soaking the night <laughs> away. Uh, to anyone in this room, in which uh, I, I recorded into a microphone uh, some version of the phrase. For anyone who's not old, for anyone old enough, you don't need to hear this. But the rest of you, let me explain a thing. And I just realized that is the first time I've said that. It will be far from the last. Yeah. And, uh, oh boy. Especially if you're in the world of public communication. Correct. Only more people younger. Oh, wait a minute. The funny part is while Taft was president, the White House got a tub that was so big the president couldn't possibly get stuck in it, Carlson says. Wait a minute, though. Which Classic Carlson. Like, but, but yeah, did, they, did, they, did they get it before he showed up? Well, I... It doesn't matter. Oh, there it's, we go. It, There's the picture. Like, okay. By no, the way, yeah. audio listeners, if you've ever seen uh, uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, just picture the bathtub his rich neighbor had, and it's that big. Uh, it's a giant swimming Because, by the way, uh, uh, LBJ had his shower LBJ. retrofitted so he could have his balls pressure washed. <laughs> uh, and that took basically the entirety of his presidency. It was only finished for like the last year. And immediately when Nixon was elected, he's like, get this fucking ball torturing device out of my fucking shower. Am, am I a bad person for just, just straight up assuming that I, 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 I don't think I care for any, like, like, Care for any what? Policy aside, yeah. I've never heard anything about the person, LBJ, that sounded remotely like a person I would enjoy even three seconds with. Oh no, I, I think that's wrong. Like I think like he You think he that's is, wrong? He is an exceptional hang. I mean, like, uh, well, first of all, he was well hung, which is why during yes. negotiations he would insist on everybody skinny dipping in the president's No, pool. no, 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 no. So wrong, 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 big wrong, 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 wrong. No, he actually did the opposite in negotiations. Uh, he did that with donors. Donors. So donors would, would uh, pay a lot of money to spend the time in the White House. And Sorry. he would. It's pronounced donors? I've always said boners. Okay. Oh, okay. No. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. God damn it. Uh, uh, that, that, yeah, 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 that, yeah. that was the lowest hanging fruit, which is appropriate for LBJ. For LBJ. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, uh, no. So it was uh, uh, donors that he would, like, after you've paid millions of dollars to his campaign, I man, I'm millions at that point, but, like, a lot of money to his campaign, your reward was coming for a barbecue at the White House, and he would be like, hey, we're going to skinny dip. Look at my giant dick. Yeah. Ha, look at my I'm still better than you. Yeah. In negotiations, he would do the opposite. He would joke about how you must have such confidence that you could fuck my wife. Uh, uh, me, I don't know. I'm just a little. I don't guy. know if I'll ever fuck. Like, yeah. yeah, basically that, that. And there's a lot of like recorded conversations with that where he would do that, and also he would like to throw off the very patrician, like a uh, New England uh, uh, private school educated people by just making jokes about dicks and balls. Uh, like, and they would be like, oh, 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 oh shit! Oh. I suddenly realized, like. That's why I wouldn't like him because he's us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, no president has ever lived closer to where we are right now. I, mean, I, yeah, literally, I literally rode my bike to <laughs> to the city to, he was born in yes. and named after him. There we go. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, control him so no, to LBJ. Yeah, yeah. Control him to LBJ. LBJ. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, how you feeling? Uh, this is 
uh, LBJ one touching down. <laughs> That's what the J stood for. Giant penis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we're we're gonna kick it over to you, America. All right, thank you so much, Great Room. Freedom. All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Great Night pre pre show Great Room Green Room thing. <laughs> Very quickly, let's do some birthday borners. Uh, this is the part where we give you shout outs that uh, you have posted in our chat, in our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv, uh, who said BioCow. BioCow is the only one we got December uh, 8th. Happy birthday, BioCow, earlier this week. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I'm joined with uh, uh, my micro podcast co host, yeah. one Corey Cranfill. So excited. It's a great, great week, Bryce. So we're here for critical racing theory. Uh, on Sunday was the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the final race of the 2021 Formula One season. Yep. And uh, if you missed it, and I can't imagine how you could have missed it. Yeah. Uh, one Max Verstappen for Red Bull Racing <laughs> took home the win and the championship. Man, so excited. Yeah, you know, it was, it was, I, uh, so I. Uh, people who listen know that I'm more, I I am a Hamilton fan in the yeah. in the Max and Hamilton fight and uh, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Feel bad about it. And uh, so if you, if you haven't heard, there was controversy about the end of that I race. Don't know, I don't know if it was controversy. There was it's some just... uh, there was some controversy around the safety car. We don't need to get into the details. I my stance. Yeah. I'm gonna just say this so I don't have to say it. I don't think that they should overturn the results of the race or the championship at all. I think that, yep. it, that look, they put it in paper that, that Max, they, the fact that they both went into this last race tied on points yes. means that they are both incredibly competent and very worthy champions. Yep. Um, I just, I, I just want to know what are we doing? There, there's just, there's just a part of me that's like. I was tell I was talking with the we were talking about this on the after talk for Cord Killers the other mm -hmm, day, mm -hmm. um, and there's an old quote that says that Formula One is too much of a sport to be a business and too much of a business to be a sport. Yep, and that felt like it came out on Sunday, and you know there are definitely I think Lewis in the first lap I think he should have just given that place back. It's very clear that it would have it would have removed an asterisk on the race and he would have gotten that place back anyway. Yes. But, yeah. um, and I think across the season, there are definitely questionable things of like, why didn't you do anything about this yep. to the officials? The officials. Um, I, I don't know. What, what was your feeling on the race? I, I thought it was an exciting race, especially at yeah, the end. I'm so excited that you got to join this year. <laughs> it's a great the, year. The, the previous years uh, were, you know, there's still plenty of drama because it's formula one. Yeah. Uh, but this the year, world's the world's fastest soap opera. Indeed. And so this was very much more entertaining towards the end because there was actually a competition happening at the end. And Lewis didn't wrap up the title, you know, four races before the end of the season. Right. So that's great. Um, also, I'm super excited for you because it was like full flavor Formula One shenanigans. <laughs> this is this is why we're here for Formula One, man. It's just nutty, man. And this is nutty. the first year that they're actually broadcasting those calls between the teams yeah. and uh, Michael Massey, the race director yep. in the FIA. So you actually get to, that's why we heard last week for the first time, like this whole, I'll make you this offer yeah, so we don't go to the Yeah, so instead of just being like, pull up the rule book and say, this happened, therefore we shall do this. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, this is kind of a... Can you just do this and we'll be done yeah, with yeah, it? Yeah, this is, this is a gray zone. If I send it to mommy and daddy, the stewards... It will take no... a long time and it will probably be worse. Yes. And so like, we can just go ahead and just swap positions and then just move on with this race. Right. Do you take that offer? And they're like, oh, well, I don't know. That sounds real bad. Okay, yes. Yeah. You know, and then they'll do whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. It's, it's really fun to hear the, the, uh, the, all the back-end chatter that happens. Yeah, it, it was very interesting. And, it's, and you know, reading the different comments, like, uh, you know, the negotiating thing from last week of, yeah. of, that, of giving that place up during the red flag, um, like, it seems, it's very clear to me that that is why they do it because it's yeah. faster that way and everybody knows just let's do this and we don't need to get anybody else involved. Yep. Um, but there are definitely still people out there who are like, you, you can't be negotiating deals like this. It, it's That's not what that was. It's just, he, he, I think he used the wrong words yeah. to describe it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it, 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 it was, uh, 
it, it was a wild race. I, it, it, because, uh, you know, really, it certainly felt like we, and I was watching this with a buddy mm -hmm. a couple of hours delayed. We were both on a media blackout. Yeah. Uh, the hardish, harshest media blackout we needed because <laughs> it, it was everywhere. 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 Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but we, you know, I, my, I had I had heard my my I have a group chat with my mm -hmm. with with my brother and my father, and they we we text a little bit during the races, and so they were sending me non spoilery things a little bit like holy shit oh my yeah. god, um, um and so we were getting to the end of the race and I was like well, well where's the holy shit because by you know lap fifty or so Lewis uh, for Mercedes was very well ahead. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of could tell something was going to happen. Uh -huh. um, have you seen the meme? Do you do you follow any of the like Formula One meme? A little uh, bit. Reddit? Yeah. Like the Formula Dank yes. Reddit I like. Uh, but the the meme for the past few weeks has been that uh, Mick Schumacher, father, a uh, son of uh -huh. Michael Schumacher, who has the seven time championship record, um, uh, was defending, would defend his father's <laughs> legacy yeah, for my father. <laughs> and then... That's it didn't directly happen, but he definitely did touch Nicholas Latifi, who crashed and caused the safety car at the end of the race. Yeah. Um, that, you can't make that up. Yeah. You couldn't make that up. Um, but I, I, I don't know. Like, how, how do you feel with Max winning? Because this is the first time someone who is not Lewis Hamilton yep. has won a world championship. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel about it? Uh, fantastic. Um couple thoughts so hmm. one is was watching it with my wife she's gotten into it since watching the drive oh nice like right drive to survive and so so we're watching it and right from lap one right right from the start uh verstappen is supposed to be on faster tires he's leading he's, he's starting in the number one spot supposed to jump out ahead right hamilton beats him off the line by like a tenth of a yeah, second, like a big and, jump and like too. just jumps past him and i'm like okay so there's the race and championship everybody like uh right uh we, i mean like because we, we need severe luck from here because hamilton right. is is current car is faster so and i'm like on those what? hard tires too like yeah. during qualifying and practice sessions it was shocking how fast that they were on those hard tires if you don't know the hard tires are the slowest tires yeah but they last longer yep and even then, they were pumping out fastest lap, uh, mm -hmm. quali laps. Yeah, so I was, I was telling her, I was like, well, that was, and she's a Hamilton fan. Mm. And so I was like, well, uh, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> uh, Verstappen's going to need a fair amount of luck on this one. Yeah. And then it looked like luck was going to happen. I was like, oh, maybe here there's a wreck in the middle of the race. Like, maybe, we, maybe we're going to be okay. A major time in the chat reminds us, like, the Mexican Minister of Defense showed up, <laughs> Sergio Perez. <laughs> yes. And oh, that was so good. He really, he did a great job defending. And I love that, that someone's got a screen cap, but they've got one of those uh, uh, estimates overlays on the on the on the broadcast mm -hmm. from AWS. And it's like uh, uh, time to striking distance, two laps, mm -hmm. uh, overtaking difficulty, and it was very low. Yeah. But it took it took a while for Hamilton to get through Sergio. With yeah, that. and I think that also wore out Hamilton's tires a fair amount. Yeah, having to race that hard for that that period of time. Absolutely. But then towards the end, I was like, you know. It was getting close. Uh, uh, Verstappen switched tires, and he was catching at Hamilton a little bit. But I was like, "There's just not enough laps left. We're just right. We're just not going to get there. We may get close. We're just not going to get there." And Especially once the Lewis happened. got past a set of back marker yeah. racers, yeah. he had he had finished lapping them, and it was very difficult because all of the four of them were fighting for yeah. their position. And those were all faster cars too. Yeah, and not faster than him, but they but were they were good cars. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a Haas. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Anyways, then a wreck happened and it was awesome and I was screaming because I was as soon as I was like, oh, are they not going to let the people go through right. the back markers? And then all of a sudden they did. I was like, oh, no, oh, they're Hamilton just something. lost. Yeah. And I was telling I was all of a sudden screaming and the wife was like, what is happening? I'm like, Hamilton just lost the race. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like there's one lap left and he's ahead and he will lose this. Right, right. Uh, Verstappen will fly through it. And he did. And he does. But I feel bad, though, is for the the race director, because what do you do in that scenario? Mm -hmm. Do you finish the, the 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 three options are one is you finish the uh, the race under a uh, safety car which is which was terrible which There's is no boring way. and uh, apparently all of the team principals have told him like Do we not. would rather a race end under, under a green flag rather yep. than a yellow yep so. You, that's that's not a great and there's option. not enough time to do that there was yep. five laps left when the safety yep. car came out you, you can't do you can't clear the field and do the all the unlapping in that yep. time uh the other option is uh don't let the uh, the slower cars unlap themselves therefore basically handing the race to lewis hamilton guaranteed i don't all think it but, would be guaranteed I, I, don't, I don't know how he could pass uh 
four, uh, three cars plus or four cars plus. Max on fresh there. softs, though. It would, it would, it would have been close. It would have been close. It, it would have been closer, and probably he probably would not have gotten it. I, I, it, I could concede yeah. that. And yeah. then, of course, the last option is, is well, you let the other cars and lap themselves. You put Verstappen right behind Hamilton, and you do a shootout. And you do a shootout. Like, there's still a chance Hamilton could have won that. Unlikely, but. It's possible. Yeah. And also, Hamilton had plenty of opportunities to change tires and did not. Uh, th there was strategy. Uh, in that. Yeah, there was weird there strategy is. in that yeah. because, because the opposite could have happened yeah. where he does that and then they end under the yeah. yellow flag in second place. Yeah. And then you kind of get the same result. Uh, we've got, What's happening, We've boys? got co-host Justin Robert Young here joining us for Critical Racing Theory. All right. Who, uh, who are you pulling for in the F1 race this, this weekend? Wait, I, I thought there wasn't an F1. I thought it was the end. No, that was it. Who were you pulling for? Oh, I have no idea. I was pulling for you to be excited because you're the person who I know is most excited about yeah. one race. It, it was a very exciting race. Was your Did your guy win? I know it was controversial. Yeah, it was and, controversial. And also they totally just made up rules at the end. That's what I know. No, they followed the rules exactly how they do in all the previous races. <laughs> Some of us is don't this agree because with you, you, His I guy won, won and my guy lost. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I like F1, the concept of, uh, of F1 because it's a very corrupt sport. <laughs> Like, I, I think I really just like like because it reminds me of professional wrestling where it's like like the the evil bad guy can just show up at the very end and be like no you lose and it just like you have to sit on it and uh, yeah I mean I think that there is a good deal of that I mean it is you know we've talked about this before it's a lot of politicking yeah. there's a lot of drama and now that the Netflix cameras are everywhere when, yeah when does the new season start uh, probably in a couple of months or so. Like it usually starts around the start of the next season. Oh, they need to they need to fix that shit. Like episode one needs to debut like the week after I'm, the season. I am sure. I'm very positive that that is what they, that they want to get it out as fast as possible. Yeah, it is the only Netflix show I've ever seen that has a coming up on. Uh, it's the only one that is like, hey, coming yeah. up on the show. Right. Question. Hello, Brian. Uh -oh. uh, is this technically a one mic show if all of us gather around one yeah. mic? Yeah, come on. Uh, also, can we but, can we start a doo up group? Show up, show up, boom, 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 show up, show up, boom, 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 show up, show up, boom, 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 Okay, no, no, no. Uh, idea. Just all of us are white. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what's up, Brad? Uh, spitballing. Okay. Uh, okay. What if all of the F one people? Uh -huh. and, and I'm saying this half jokingly. Okay. Uh, what if it was not mandated, but sort of culturally uh, appropriate? Well, no. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to say. I'm no, sorry. <laughs> just cult culturally, it's a, the thing you do. Sure. Okay. Expect it's a custom. Right, right. Where there, between F1 full season, mm -hmm. there is an RC season. <laughs> <laughs> and the same team, like, like, like for only one month. Sure. They do. They, they do they RC do a, cars. Yes, exactly. You know, actually, what would be really would funny, that be amazing? All of the F1 people start doing in go karts. It would be great if they did like a go kart race or a mini go -kart. season. Um, Mario Kart F1. Mario Kart F1. Justin says that would be okay. great. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. I think that would be really cool. Actually, like the big thing now is the esports. They've got all the games that's got to be Mario Kart then, right? Well, that would be cool. I think that would be cool. It would but be also licensed. It, yeah. yeah. Though Mercedes is a, the Mercedes is in Mario Kart. Yep. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right. Well, thank you for joining us here in some Critical Racing Theory. And uh, and uh, uh, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here in the uh, in the pre-show, the green room, the great room. We're listening to Kimiko Q. Kikuchi's Flying Beagle album because they took the Cassiopeia album that I like off of YouTube. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, it's 7.01. Okay, well, we, we're going to get another few minutes here. Uh, I, I want to say thank you to everybody last week who uh, donated to our World Builders campaign. Uh, we ended up, as of now, raising $8,707. Yeah, it is fantastic. Shit, that is Amazing. And, and uh, uh, again, uh, thank you to everybody who did that. That is such a good charity. That is all money that is going uh, to a really, really good cause. And mm -hmm. considering we did not build that up at fucking all, right. you guys showed up in a big way to, to raise, I mean, uh, uh, 
you know, damn near nine thousand dollars in in a week is that's that's exceptional. It uh, is a, a big, incredible. big, big cheers to everybody for doing that. Big ups, everybody. Thank you so much for that. If you're still interested, the link still works. You can still donate bit.ly slash GN Builders. It's all lowercase. Um, but uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, it, I it, the 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 thing that it always gets me the most is when this community is able to. It's I don't know maybe it's transactional, but when we can donate a lot of money to charity, we win. when we win, it's great. We won that Thanksgiving. See, eight thousand seven hundred and seven dollars. Holy shit! That's right. That's uh, a lot of cash. It's a lot of dosh. Yeah, we should write a trilogy of fantasy novels next. Oh right. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Amen. <laughs> uh, Corey, can you do me a favor? Uh, on your camera, can you change the shutter speed to one over one hundred, please? Uh, never mind. I, I can get it if you if you can't find it. Uh, it's a little scroll wheel around the OK button. Uh, anyway. Oh, the scroll wheel around the OK button is a little song that made my grandpa fall in love with grandma. Uh, one over and one. then they fucked. It was a one <laughs> over 100 scenario. Oh, oh. All right. <laughs> that mr brushwood two o's for grandma <laughs> good for her good for her all righty everybody thank you so much for joining us here in the green room great room let's do some thumbs ups uh let's see brian you good ready justin you good yeah, yeah. right you good yeah Corey, you good yeah. annalisa yeah. all righty everybody thank you so much for joining us here don't forget patreon.com slash great night is the website where you can go and get all of that good stuff uh, like a bonus episode every week, which we uh, are so fun and happy to give you. All righty, let's uh, get ready for a show. Brett, I'm going to count you in. Thank you.